Hello, boys and girls. I have a nonfiction story called The Brown Bear, Giant of the Mountains. And the brown bear, also known as the grizzly bear, has been very fascinating to me. I actually saw one one summer I went up to Alaska, and they are massive. So we're going to learn about the brown bear today. Get the size of that guy. The bear has a variety of purposes that look almost human. It can stand, squat, sit down, walk upright, and use its front paws like hands. I always thought of them as like giant dogs. Patience. In the early summer, it is already warm in the mountains. The faint sounds of people drift up from the valley below. A car roars, a dog barks, and children shout. In the middle of a deep forest, two woodpeckers hammer at the trees. Higher in the mountains, a brown bear lies on a rock above the tree line. As a wild vulture circles in the sky, the bear lumbers into a dense thicket. It is careful to avoid people and it will wait patiently for night to fall before leaving its hiding place to begin its nocturnal rounds. So massive. M Mountain giant. The brown bear is a giant and it stretches is amazing. I'm sorry, the brown bear is a giant and its strength is amazing. It can drag a prey three times its weight, turn over a 200-pound rock, and break a tree trunk with a blow of its paw. The, despite its strength, the bear is a peaceful animal and rarely attacks without being provoked. Like humans, the bear is a flat-footed animal. It walks on the soles of its feet, not on its toes. Like the deer... Or the horse. How about his feet? The bear has large paws with five claws. The claws on the front paws are especially good for digging up roots and vegetables. The brown bear coat varies in color. It could be light brown, tan, or even a dark brown that looks almost black. Male brown bears are larger and heavier than females. They are usually between 5 and 8 feet long and weigh about 150 to 800 pounds. The bear is very smart and has an excellent memory. It can remember the best places and times of year to find food. The bear also has strong sense of sight and smell. And at night, it uses them to search its territory for prey. The bear's territory can be between 10 and 130 square miles, and it usually overlaps with the territories of other bears. The bear uses territory well and can cover up to 15 miles in one night in search of food. Young brown bears use their powerful claws to climb trees like cats. When they are fully grown, they stand on their hind legs and shake the tree trunks to make tasty insects fall out. They are so powerful. Looks like he's taking a bath. Look at this guy. Sometimes the bear stops for a bath. It loves the water, but it hates to get its ears wet. That is interesting. Def despite its fearsome reputation, bears do not often prey upon sheep or other livestock. I didn't know that. In the summer, the bear pulls bark off trees with its teeth and claws so it can eat the sweet, tender wood. That I did. Male and female bears mate between May and July. They stay together for several weeks, but when the mating season's over, they go their separate ways. A loner. During most of the year, bears do not have young cubs travel their territories alone, moving from one area to another to find food. 
They must eat an enormous amount during the summer and fall to prepare for a long winter of fasting. The bear will eat almost anything in his territory, both animal and vegetable. People often think of bears as ferocious predators, but they actually kill very few animals for food. They may eat an occasional mouse or squirrel or a newborn moose or deer. And some lucky bears live near streams full of salmon, but most of their food comes from fruits and vegetables. Huh. Healthy bears, right? Look at this. A greedy eater. In the summer, the bear feeds on insects, roots, bulbs, mosses, and other vegetation. When fall comes, it looks for ripe fruit. It spends hours carefully using its clawed paws to pick berries. It also rips open ant hills to feast on fat worker ants. To gain enough weight to last through the winter, the largest brown bears can eat between 80 and 90 pounds of food a day. Wow. Gaining three to six pounds of fat. Suddenly, the brown bear hears the buzzing of wild bees. The smell of honey gets stronger as the bear hurries towards the hive. Standing upright on its hind paws, it sticks its muzzle in among the bees. Wow. <clears throat> the bear is a hunter and gatherer. It takes advantage of any source of food it can find, and it often will feed on carrion or dead animals. More than three quarters of the bear's food consists of fruits and vegetables. It will eat all parts of them, including stalks, leaves, and roots. The rest of his diet is made up of insects and mammals. Bear. So fascinating, right? Before winter, the final weeks of fall, when the first snow comes, are very important for the brown bear. That is the last chance for it to eat enough food to get through its long winter fast. In the forest, it gobbles up acorns, looting the stores hidden by other animals. When it smells something unusual, the brown bear crunches down and stays absolutely still. Let's see his hands are folded. In the fall, hunters disturb the bears when they most need peace to feed themselves and prepare for winter. Let's size it. The bear uses claws to mark its territory on the trunks of trees. The bear spends hours digging and scratching the grounds for nuts, which are rich in oil. Its body absorbs the fat from the nuts, forming a large, full bump above the shoulders. I see that lump. During the cold winter or fall, the egg the female has been carrying since the summer begins to develop. She will give birth to her cubs around six to eight months after mating. Brown bears usually have one to three cubs at a time. The size of each litter depends on the weather conditions and the food supply. Huh. The bear's massive body is protected from the cold by dense fur that grows thicker for the winter. So they like the cold weather. But this. The bear leaves its giant paw print in the mud. It has a massive print. The bear's den can be in a cave, under a rock, in a hollow tree, or even in a hole. Some bears use the same den year after year. Yes, yeah, they're home. The bear removes stones from his den and uses moss, grass, and small branches as cushions. Safe and warm. The pregnant female bear now must choose the place where she is going to spend the winter. Leaving the valleys and meadows, she climbs a steep rocky slope to reach her den. She has already stopped eating, and now she will live off the fat she stored in her body throughout the summer and fall. She will soon fall into a deep sleep. By resting during the winter months, she saves energy during a season when she would not be able to find enough food to survive. While she rests, her heart and breathing rate slow down. Although her body temperature does not drop much, she is able to wake easily, so her sleep is not a true hibernation. Wow. So many facts about bears. Look at this guy. That's like the mini bear, doesn't it? 
As the snow melts, the bear begins to eat and drink again. Birth. One night in January, deep within her den, the bear gives birth to two cubs, a male and a female. Blind and deaf, they look like puppies. Well, that's what I was saying earlier. The bear looks like a big dog. They only weigh about one pound each, and they seem small and fragile next to their giant, next to their giant mother. She licks them gently and helps them nurse. For three months, they feed on her rich milk and do not leave the shelter of the den. As winter ends, the mother goes out more and more often, leaving her offsprings behind. She is thin after her long fast and needs to look for food. If she is lucky, she will find the carcass of an animal that did not survive winter. Rodents make a good snack for a hungry bear just coming out of his den. After a long winter of fasting, the bear may have lost 40% of its weight, but its huge head is still impressive. Yeah, that's a massive head. Mama bear. The cubs will nurse for several more months, but as soon as they leave their den, they will start to find other food. Some cubs may gain up to 200 pounds in their first year. That is so much weight. This growing cub still depends on its mother for protection and security. By the time they are four or five months old, the cubs are already covered with thick fur as they begin to explore the world around them. First outing. Finally, around the middle of April, the cubs are allowed to leave the den. They only weigh about five pounds and are very vulnerable. Curious about everything, they love to play, but their mother forbids them to leave her side. She calls to them. She calls them to her by growling, and she will slap or spank them if they disobey. Wow. She is strict with them because their survival depends on how well they learn to fend for themselves. Today, she has a treat for the cubs. She leads them to a small pool where frogs have laid thousands of eggs that will make a feast for the young cubs. Imitating their mother, they learn to grab the eggs with fast swipes of their paws. Wow, they eat fish eggs or frog eggs? That's impressive. By the fall, the cubs weigh almost 50 pounds and are very agile. They play constantly, chasing each other and tumbling about. The cubs are becoming more independent, but they will stay with their mother for another year or more. The mother's territory covers about 12 square miles and is part of a larger territory of a male brown bear. I guess they have to coexist. Growing up, by the time summer arrives, the cubs are eating a lot and growing quickly. While they learn to search for food, their mother scratches her back on the trees. The resting in the tree trunk makes her shed her thick winter coat. Oh, that's a scary one. These cubs may look fierce, but they're actually just playing. The cubs measure their strength and pretend combat. The eight-month-old cubs are growing stronger, but sometimes they still need their mother's help. An adult male bear suddenly appears at the end of the path. The mother is very protective of her young, and she stands up on her hind legs to watch the intruder. Roaring with anger, she takes a few steps towards him and bares her fangs. The male does not want to start a fight, so he moves away quickly. Wow. So, this is our story, The Brown Bear, Giant of the Mountains, and we've learned a lot, and we can learn a lot more. So, enjoy these nonfiction books, and always look for more. See you soon, boys and girls.